Now, now, at what point did you guys realize that the three of you guys were going to start going different directions? Um, that was probably right before the sale um, uh, in 2002, the first one. So okay. even though we did that extension, you know, everybody's head was in a different space. Um, and we had so many companies and so many artists. So th around that time, Dame went to Rockaware, and he was, um, you know, really running that ship. And, you know, that became a $700 million um, company. And <clears throat> Jay was doing um, a little starting to get into S. Doc Carter. And that's when I just took over Rockefeller by myself. So, you know, every day with the staff and then going into, you know, retail, radio, legal, um, promotion, video, and making sure everything was good from A to Z. And then that's when I started the um, Kanye's project. So I did that project um, A to Z. And Dane would come on if I needed him. If I'm like, yo, I'm having a problem over here, I'm having a problem over here. He might just handle that, but the whole um, project was, um, was, you know, was something that I, you know, I'm glad to say that um, I was a part of. Absolutely, and, and that first project was phenomenal. Yeah, because Dame just thought he could put him on a group and let the group break him, but I seen the genius in what Kanye was doing, and yeah. you know him having the the, the uh, he actually had the name of his next three albums, <laughs> so right. you know which which kept it, and you know going back and forth with him about singles because. It was, a, it was probably a two or three day talk just to get him not to put out Jesus Walks um, instead of before all falls down. So that's mm -hmm. something I had to really get in his mind, like they're not ready for this right now. You don't want to come with the second single to be Jesus Walks. Yeah, yeah. I remember I'd interviewed Kanye right when Slow Jams was about to come out. Through the Wire was out and it was buzzing. And what I always remember, because I lost the interview, was that the way Kanye is today was exactly how he was back then. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that, and they ask that question yeah. all the time. You know, how is Kanye? I was like, exactly the same. The only exactly. difference is he has a, a bigger platform to speak on. So instead of now speaking to 30, 40 people, he's speaking to 30 and 40,000. No, absolutely. You know, you guys start working, working on different things, but at one point, did you decide that you guys are actually splitting apart and going your separate ways completely? Uh, after the second sale, around 2005, 2004, 2005. Okay. Where did you go after that? Uh, me and Dame, we started um, Dame Dash uh, uh, Music Group, and we had uh, Dash Films, and we had Creative Control, um, a marketing company, and then I started uh, Block Savvy, and at the time I still had my vodka company, Armadale. So Armadale was just yours? It was, it was all of us, but um, me and um, Dame, we had put it together. I'm, I'm only naming these projects because these are the ones that I started, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you know, somebody might have a vision for something. We might be partners for it, but these were all like my babies. Okay. And then you guys sold Rockaware. Yeah. Now, how much did that sell for again? 204. 204 million. Yeah. So now, now moving from Rockaware, you have your own clothing brand, but you have a bunch of clothing brands. Yeah, so, I, well, I have a new company, it's, it's BDRC, which is the holding company, and under that there's several brands, but it's just like, re our reasonable doubt is 4th of November. So, 4th of November is gonna be the one that launches all these other brands, and, you know, like I've been telling people, I'm lucky, I just, you know, we got some new numbers in, and we had 7 million in um, six months now, so we did um, 2 million over this last month, but, I mean, the jeans is selling out, everybody wants it, you know, all over the place, and we just did a big shipment um, over in Europe, that just kind of blew out of stores and, you know, kind of took it from America on its first delivery, but we're bringing it back now um, on 1115. Now, now, what's different about this company than the other companies you've started before? I have experience. <laughs> so all the other companies, I didn't know anything about music getting into it. I didn't know anything about tech getting into Block Savvy and anything about spirits getting into Armadale or even a sporting business when we had Rock Sports. Um, now, after all experience, you know, I, I know the um, importance of putting a, a good team together, putting a board um, together, um, watching the financials and, 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 and paying attention to the small things and being uh, more concentrated and, and a little more, um, uh, you know, thinking about the, the moves that we're making a little more. And it's not revolved around an artist. So I, don't, I didn't want to go back that route again and try to have a face of the brand because a lot of times when something happens to that, it, it dilutes the brand or it can, um, you know, bring the brand down. So I was like, I want the line to kind of live by itself. Sure. Now, I mean, do you have any inkling as to how, how prominent Kanye is going to be in the world of fashion? You know, like, 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 like the, the effect of Yeezys no, is, is, is monumental. It's, it's crazy, but we had an idea too because Rockaway at the time was going to do the first clothing line. When he, when for, he had for, uh, for yeah, Kanye. Yeah, when he had the, uh, the little teddy bear. Right, right. 
I actually heard that Echo was supposed to do something too. Echo was supposed to do well, some sort of yeah, TV afterwards, deal but, where, you know, with, obviously with we had everything under, you know, under the house. umbrella. So we had um, kind of first crack at it, but you know how Kanye is, um, and they designed a whole collection. Then he was like, "No, I don't like it." <laughs> Wait, so you guys designed a whole Rockaway collection for Kanye? Yeah, it wasn't Rockaway. It was under his brand, and I, 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 I can't think of the name right now. Was that Pastel? Yeah, my Pastel. Pastel. So you guys did a whole pastel, and he was just like, nah. Yeah. Wow. That, that's quite a story. Yeah. That's quite a story, because cause, you know, what yeah, he's you're the only Adidas, person. I think this like, is the exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, because when, when you look at Kanye's effect on Adidas, like, he's literally lifting this entire brand. that has been around for, like, what, 60, 70 years? Yeah, but that's, you know, what I, and when I go back, it's this um, collaboration we did with 4th of November and, um, and Rock 96, and it's the Reasonable Doubt Family Tree. And uh, right. the reason why it was the, the, to show people the impact that we had on music, but the idea in the beginning wasn't just music, it was about businesses, the interns that turned to execs, and how this family tree spurs out way bigger than what people think it is. I mean, if you think about Lee Daniels, you know, we fund his first directorial debut, and now look right. where he is, right? So even in films, Kevin Hart, right? We, we put him on. So we found Kevin Hart, put him in his first thing. So it's so many people that's on his family tree. But the, um, going back, oh, yeah, even Shaka, she just walked in. She's on the family tree now, too. So she's, right. uh, yeah, president of Rock Nation. But... You know, all these people that had all this success and, and, and where things have went right now is, is, is one of the best things that, you know, it's one of the things that we're really celebrating today. Right. I mean, when you look back at what you've accomplished, what do you think were some of the biggest mistakes you've made? Obviously, you learned from them, but what was the actual mistakes in retrospect? I think, you know, I just talked about today. I think our biggest mistake probably was with Kanye when Lior told us he didn't believe in a project and said we could take him to another label. So we went to another label and we was like, these guys are idiots too, so we might as well keep them there. So if we would have did that deal, we would have still been in the Kanye business. So going, since we took him back and put him on, on, back on there, it went into our regular deal. So, you know, we didn't see the, um, you know, we didn't see the fruits of that. Um, but, oh yeah, what I was saying about um, Kanye before, his impact on it and reasonable doubt in the family tree is not only him building up um, Adidas, but if you think about what Rihanna is doing with Puma, you know, Puma, and all yeah. these other artists. So it's like, years later and reasonable doubt still have this impact because of the uh the artists that came from this family tree and they're doing what we did um on a bigger level right because actually like this year i've been holding i mean my biggest holding was nike for five years i've been buying it non-stop and then this year when i found out that kanye was re-upping on his deal with adidas i literally sold all my nike stock and bought all adidas that, that's how much i believe in it that, that's, that's because i can man. see the effect not just of the shoes but of the perception yeah. of the brand. Yeah, and that's what, you know, to keep going back to the uh, family tree, but that's our effect on the world, right? W w why I say reasonable doubt and people, you know, um, may have some, um, something to say about it is the, the strongest uh, uh, lifestyle or movement or Rockefeller or Rock 96 is the strongest thing of all time because it went so far beyond music. So, you know, some guys did one or two deals outside of music but if you look at the trickle-down effect, I mean, it's like reasonable doubt was the thing that took over the world when you look at, at the bottom of that family tree right now. You know, even with the J. Cole, the Kanye coming, and the Pusher, and Designer, and, you know, John Legend, and Big Sean, good, like, everybody's is still relevant. 